Kaiser. Hello. Me turn on my headphone. Or as SK says, Quasar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're too you're too polite. I would have corrected them on that. Ah, uh, um, tired of that thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, I was looking at this place. Uh, let me show you. Can you let me? Yeah. Let the boy in, Charlie. Oh, let me in, Charlie. <laughs> How are you guys? Let the boy in. He says. Good. Yeah, you're good to share. Okay. Charlie. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let, ready? Let the boy in. I think I'm flat out ready for the test. That's good, man. What is that? Is that a new one? Is it a new uh... I was I was looking at this site like uh crucialexams.com. Let me share it for you. Do you guys? Uh, okay. How weird is that? I want to schedule a date so bad. I yeah, I want to. I want to do it after Ramadan. It's hard. It's are you close? Huh? Do you know where? Do you know where you're at? Or do you know where do you think you are? Out of a hundred percent, out of a hundred percentage points, where are you? Probably about. Uh, I'm like in the seventies, or like you know, low seventies. Really? How I have you higher than that? Hmm? No, I think you, you know more than that. Yeah, you know, I mean, we always get stuck on those questions. You know, my problem is some, I overthink the questions. I think they're hard to do as a group, frankly. It could be. So what are you going to do, a practice test? Talking to me? You're going to do that? I'm talking, I'm talking are to Are they like uh, flashcards? I'm, I'm talking to Quasar. Quasar. <laughs> Quasar. 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 Kaiser. Kaiser Soze. Kaiser Soze. So what happened to Kevin Spacey now? We don't see him no more. You know why? Because he was molesting people. <laughs> yeah, that was so bad though. <laughs> He's bad, man. <laughs> you know that. You know he had. That Who show. doesn't I watch that show on Netflix? Uh, yeah, I saw. I seen it. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can tell. I didn't know he was gay. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I guess he was gay behind the scenes. He was, yeah. But, you know, it, it actually is one of my favorite actors, you know? Yeah, I mean, one of my favorite actors is a total douchebag, Mel Gibson. He's the worst guy on earth. <laughs> Why? Uh, I like Mel Gibson. Oh, he's a total... Uh, he, he's anti-Semitic, he's a jerk, he's a... Uh, he, I don't know. Is, and, he, is he anti-Semitic? I didn't yes, know yes, he, yes, he is undoubtedly anti-Semitic. Oh, wow. And he, I'm not, and I'm not is, down with like, that. Uh, no, that's not good. Charlie, don't do very, hate. Very, very like a uh, conservative uh, Christian, I think. He's crazy. I think he might be like, a Scientologist. Uh, he's not. Like I mean, he's that crazy. <laughs> what I read about today, I okay. read about. I read about a few things we were talking about recently. Um, what did I look up? I guess I looked up uh, certificate certificates a little bit PKI. Anyway, I just today think I got to 100. percent Okay. I think, wanna... I, think I, I think I know all of it. Yeah, let's do one of those. You want to do? Okay, let's do this one. It is time based though. That's and fine. the test timer. You want to do that one or? No, you just take okay. the timer off because we're working together. Okay. I mean, normally okay. the timer is what you want. Just to okay. practice, but we're working together, so it's a little bit harder. Okay, let's start. Holy shit, look at that question. You are responsible for application security for a small startup. You are responsible for conducting regular penetration tests. Recently, the startup has faced some budget issues and lacks the funds to create a standalone system to use for vulnerability scanning applications. Due to this constraint, you must conduct vulnerability scans on the live system, the same one being used by customers. What type of scan should be used to ensure vulnerabilities are found but not executed? Woo! 
credentialed, intrusive, mm -hmm. non-intrusive, or non-credentialed? Totally mm. um, I'm leaning port C. But, uh... Yeah, I like non-intrusive a lot. Me too. Yeah, it's the only one that makes sense, frankly. I mean, I understand what credentialed versus okay. non-credentialed is, but I don't remember what the impact of it is. All right, I'll take this one, too. Which option best describes the following situation? An attacker has intercepted network packets between a browser and a web server. The attack then retransmits the intercepted data to the web server, hoping the server will respond with useful information. Uh, i.e. a session ID, a credit card information, etc. What kind of attack is that? First thing that pops in my head, that's a replay attack. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right? So, let's say uh, blue jacking is not it. Injection nope. is not it. Nope. cross site that's not it. Cross Isn't it? cross setting and injection is a little bit the same? I mean, the, the injection is kind different. Of. You're, in the injection, you're writing code to a system's memory. With mm -hmm. cross site, you're making, you're using another website and and like uh, JavaScript or another language to get code into places it shouldn't be. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I I still almost I still don't quite understand cross site. We have a cross site this module. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And I can tell you, it's JavaScript and messing with those uh, input boxes. Here comes Sri Jana. This girl really wants to learn. I'm impressed by her. She's quite uh, pretend like she doesn't know anything, but she knows yeah, I know more she than. Does. What happened to uh, F F uh, Safiato? She doesn't. I don't know. Either Safiato, either something changed, and she hi hi Sri Jana. Hello. Uh, I don't know. Either she got maybe she got upset with me or something, or I don't know. Would you? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Otherwise, I don't know she's why. Not that. I don't know she's why. She's not know. that kind of person. Yeah, she she's not she's, that kind of person. She seems pretty thick-skinned. I mean, like, not, like yeah. she seems like she can take a joke and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. All right. I thought. I mean, this group started with Kurtley and Nana, and they haven't they haven't shown up in months. Yeah, come, yeah. Okay, that's the keyword. Retransmit the intercepted data. Mm-hmm. That's it. hoping yep. the server server will respond with you. So okay, we're good with that. Shijana, Anytime, if you can uh, see... my uh, my uh, the back noise here bother you guys. I can mute myself. Okay. Hannah. Uh, yeah, she's. Oh, watching. no, you're fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's all right. This is Charlie's study group. This isn't class. Okay. Hana, <laughs> Hana is okay. welcome. Let me read this. All right, good. You work for a large national realty company in the networking department. Recently, your department received a help desk call from a smaller satellite office stating that their Wi-Fi is no longer working. The trouble ticket was escalated to you because company policy does not allow wireless networks. After further investigation, you learned that an employee in the office set up a simple wireless router themselves. Which option best defines the situation? Rogue, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rogue. An employee set up that's a rogue. Yeah. I mean, these questions are obnoxiously long. I don't know why they're so long. They're obnoxiously long. That last one could have been one sentence. Yeah, all right. You all are right. at the res okay. at the resident IT. You are you are at the res resident IT within your family. While you're relaxing and enjoying a family Thanksgiving dinner, your sweet old grandmother mentioned the Microsoft <laughs> called her cell phone. Mentioned that Microsoft called her cell phone and helped her with the virus on her computer. You explained to her that Microsoft does okay. not call people directly to help with computer issues. Yeah. And that she was likely to target a malicious attacker. You, okay, this is vishing. Oh, let's keep going. <laughs> phone call. <Yeah. laughs> vishing. There's no phone jacking, right? Good. I've never seen phone jacking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's a red herring. Yep. There yeah, is a phone there. jack, but not like phone jacking. Okay, let's go. Oh, God. I mean, All it's right. really obnoxious. A lazy programmer at the startup. We recently <laughs> fired for sleeping at their, at, their, <laughs> at their cubicle. Angry about being fired and uh. waiting in revenge. The programmer assessed the admin panel, the startup's website using a method they previously programmed into the application before yeah. being fired. Yeah. With access to the admin panel, the former employee was able to delete user account from the database, which caused a lot of issues for the company. Which of the following options describes the methodology of the attack? Mm-hmm. Backdoor. Backdoor. He created a backdoor. There is no ransom. There's no money involved. Hannah, what you doing? Okay. Take it, guys. Okay. Okay, I got it. <laughs> What option would create a new ACL entry that would deny any port any HTTP traffic? Mm. Okay, deny TCP. Oh. Deny. Not this one. Deny TCP any server. TCP 80? Is that the one? Uh. You know, it that would deny any port 80 HTTP, allow TCP in the server. This okay, maybe this one. No, no but you allow in everything but TCP 443. 443 is HTTP. Oh, but sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. It's B. I think it's B. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that it's C. I don't know, that's too easy to be B. What option would create a new ACL entry that would deny any port? Eight, uh, 80 HTTP traffic. Okay, they want to um, disable 80, but like a, a one, a, they don't want, uh, I mean, uh, HTTP without encryption or security uh, to come in. So it has to be HTTPS that can go through. So if you deny all, any server, then you are blocking everything. You're blocking 443 too, right? Yeah, so okay. it's got to it's spe it's gotta specify port 80. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, unless I'm crazy. Your employer is planning to place wireless devices at the entrance of their retail locations. The devices will use Wi Fi to connect to the store's wireless network and use beams of light to detect when someone enters through the en entrance. Other than Wi-Fi, what type of wireless communication is being used? Bluetooth. I'm pretty sure that's infrared. No. But infrared. it is infrared what you use to detect something. Yeah, detect people coming through the door. Yeah, it is infrared. But yeah. the question is, you said what type of wireless communication is being used? Is that a communication? Like what kind of yeah. communication? Yeah, is that? yeah it, it sure is. Planning to place wireless device at the entrance after. The device will use Wi Fi. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, we haven't seen a question like that ever. Yeah, right. During a regular security scan of the network, you find that several user laptops are infected with the same malware. After cross referencing the, lap the laptop users with the reverse proxy logs, you find you find that they all had accessed an industry news website the day before. You believe your organization may have been specifically targeted for this malware. What type of attack would describe this theory? Once again, Kaiser is ready to hit the answer. <laughs> Watering hole, yeah. Oh, my, my mouse was already there, so I didn't oh, even... Sure it was. Watering hole is when you... Uh, I know we talked about it the other day. You drop malware into a third-party site, you know the people that the, you're your targeting people, are going to... Yeah, yeah. they work for you, actually look for it. Well, it's just a, a site they all use already, like the, this industry yeah, like, news. Like in my company, we have, a, we have like a, a, a website that we go to get memos from. Like, mm -hmm. tell us what, what's news about the company. What, so mm -hmm. it's not... Mm -hmm. You can go... They can attack that site... And mm -hmm. it's called water, watering hole. 
Yeah, I understand the concept. Watering a hole is it's the website. No, no, no. That's, oh, no, uh, that's the, the, the that <laughs> I was gonna say that's the website called Joie Connect. Joie Connect. I can't even spell that, so you're safe. <laughs> uh, uh, here's the boxes that we talked about yesterday. You right. have ordered their penetration test on the company's website from a third-party IT security consultant. Your web administration team has created a standalone test network to ensure the penetration tests do not cause issues on the live website. Other than the IP address of the web server, you have not provided the penetration tester with any information. What type of test best describes the scenario? Black test. Black, Black box. box. Yeah. Black box, black box, it's black box, let's move on. It is, but standalone, that's not no. even the thing in this no. scenario, right? Standalone, exactly. maybe they're talking about like an air gap system. Mm. Could be. All right. A smaller online retailer is experiencing huge numbers of requests on their websites. They are not running any major marketing campaigns and while seeing a lot of traffic are not seeing a rise in sales, sales or logins. Eventually, their web servers become overloaded and users are unable to load pages. So that's DDoS, right? Hannah, inside voice. Ben. Yeah, although those other answers are pretty good. It's DDoS, DDoS. yeah. Is 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 there is there something overflowed? No. No. There are, flight, that's not it. There's mesh flooding or R flooding. Sin flooding. There's a lot of different flooding attacks, but sin flooding. Yeah, yeah not over flooding. Look at that sin flood. Isn't that weird? <laughs> what type of DDoS attack sends a large number of new TCP requests? to a server in order to overwhelm it with unused open sessions. That's sin flooding. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Or session hijacking is not it's not that. No, that's when no. you're still, you're, get, you're no. getting it, you're accessing a cookie. Um spanning tree is not an attack. What's sin what's sin what's Yeah, sin, they're uh, not talking. Sin flood is like when you know how the no, What uh, does it stand for? Oh, synchronize. Synchronize. Synchronization. Yeah. And and what does it sync, do? Sync, act, sync. Sync, act, act. It's a three-way handshake. Yeah, three-way handshake. Handshake. Mm -hmm. You send a request. You get acknowledgement, and then you send back. Uh, so then you complete the connection. So that's a that's a TCP um, handshake. Yeah. Okay, and when it's mm -hmm. flood, what is what happens? It's it's a lot of you. Uh, you hit it with a, you send something a ton of sin re sin requests, mm -hmm. and it responds to each of them. But you change, maybe this isn't exactly it, but you change. I think you change the uh, IP address where it sends them back. So it sends all the acts, like a ton of acts back at your target. Okay. But the point is, either you're sending sins or acts. At your target and de basically DDoSing it that way. Yeah, like, uh, okay, here's the thing. Like, uh, machine sends them uh, IC, a TCP packets to start conversation, uh, communication, and the other machine, like, they reply, but you don't reply back. You just leave it. And then machine is waiting for your acknowledgement. Okay, you got it to complete the connection, but that connection stays open. So you send another one, another one, with the same thing. So there are lots of connections open, but your uh, uh, nothing uh, is connected. Or, so you're using all those bandwidth. What you doing, boo-boo? What you doing, boo-boo? Ah, long, another one. Yes, sir. Your employer allowed BYOD because the company <laughs> software landscape is entirely based on SaaS. SaaS applications on the internet. Recently, an employee's various accounts were ex accessed by a hacker. Oh. The user tells you that uh, us users tells you they had different passwords for 
all of the applications. No one else has reported similar issues. After helping the user conduct a malware scan on their personal device, you find that they have malware that records input given to the PC by the user. What option best describes the type of malware found? A logger? Right. right. Honestly, I could, it's the last sentence or last line in a word is enough. Malware that records input given to the PC by the user. <laughs> Keylogger. Keylogger? Yeah. yeah. Rat is remote torsion. Remote access yeah. torsion, right? There is a keylogger. There is another one, right? Well, what's the... Uh, when it takes also the uh, mouse? That's rat. I mean, when you see the mouse moving and you're not moving it, that's a rat. That's a rat? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Yes or no? Yes, that's a wrap. Because it, Kaiser, he says, no, no, no. <laughs> well, Kaiser gets all fired up, and then he realizes he's well, got to che check himself. I was, <laughs> no, no, this is correct. Like, I was thinking about, like, another kind of key logger thing. Like, uh, one is a physical device, and one is, like, software-based. So software, like... Uh, yeah, they're uh, both key logger. Yeah, um, I have... I mean, yeah, yep. yeah. Software like uh, uh, records everything, like even your mouse clicking and everything. Uh, the hardware is just like your keyboard thing. Yeah, the one I have is a hardware that's what one. I was yeah. All right. Your bank has contact. Hey Kaiser, can you hit Control Plus a couple times, sir? Make that bigger. Mm. Control Plus. Yeah, there you go. Um, cool. That's good. You're good. Yep. Your bank has contacted you and informed you they recognize an unusual login with your username and password on their website. As a precaution, they have locked your account and stated the login came from a foreign country. You run a security scan on your PC which finds malware. The description of the malware states that it intercepts normal web traffic from your browser executable. What type of of attack best describes this. Intercepts normal web traffic from your browser executable. I think that's man in the browser. Man in the browser. Although I, eh, not domain hijack. Yeah. I'm not even sure what a consensus attack is. An, an amplification? Yeah, that's, that's something I've heard of. That's another way of dosing somebody. I think it's it's a wireless dos. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the purpose of dosing people. I don't get it. You knock somebody temporarily offline for what? I guess I mean, it's used it costs the uh, financial damage. And only for no. I don't think it's going to it's a thing anymore. Like it's a big thing, because all the servers can handle like a. Like tons of traffic. Yeah. So unless you have like, a, but if you, even if you do need someone, how long you can uh, do that one? Like maybe minute, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. For how long this? I don't think you can you go mean? any longer. Well, yeah. you can you can rent a so botnet. If you got enough money. Right. Um. What do we? Oh my God! Look yeah. at this question. That's for you, sir. For you, Charlie. Um, it's gonna be dumb DNS poisoning, I think. You are <laughs> you are observing an outage of your employer's website. While investigating the cause of this outage, you learn that there is a large-scale DDoS attack that has caused network outages for large percentages of the internet. The attack is targeting key infrastructure of major web service providers. According to the news sources, the attackers are sending huge numbers of requests to open DNS servers with spoofed IP addresses. The responses from the DNS servers are sent to the spoofed IP addresses, which have resulted in the network outages due to overwhelmed infrastructure. What type of attack is being conducted? I don't DNS even poison. know. Is it? Oh, DNS amplification? I don't know if DNS after amplification is even a thing. 
because jam after made... reading that long question you forgot what you read i don't know what i read yeah <laughs> yeah this is poisoning but it is dns poisoning yeah yeah is is the dns jamming and dns amplification is even i don't, is that I even... don't think so i don't think I th so yeah i think yeah At, at at what point at what point we get the answers? After like a hundred. Oh God. Okay. No, no. I think twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. You have been called to the to the office of the CEO. That's you, Charlie. Mm -hmm. For credential meeting. In the meeting, the CEO informs you that. In in the meeting, the CEO informs you. He has a virus that won't mm -hmm. let him log in without paying the fee. Can you stop here? <laughs> okay. what a funny kid uh, that's it right yeah. the CEO, it, they want okay you you begin to investigate you want to read the whole you, thing ransomware yeah it's got to be ransomware ransomware exactly yeah yeah we know the from that downloaded any the moment ransomware. we saw what paying a fee a fee bitcoin I urge you not to jump the gun on the test when you see that, though, because I, I finally found one in the book um, that was, uh, like, involved money in a money amount, and it was not ransomware. What was it, though? It was something related, but it wasn't ransomware. But was it blackmailing with money, or was it, like... It was, like, I don't know how, how the question came out, but it, the answer turned out to be something other than ransomware, the way that it was worded. Do you remember the question? We can pull No, up. no. During routine security checks, you discover that wireless access point is set up on the outside of your employer's office building. The access point has the same SSID at the internal Wi-Fi network, but it is insecure to allow anyone access. What type of attack have you discovered? Evil twin? Evil twin. Mm -hmm. You say it like Dr. Evil. Yeah, Dr. Evil. Evil. Very well, where shall I begin? SSID read application. Is that a never even heard of it? Is that a thing? I'm I bet it is, but forget it. You are conducting a pen test on a web application recently purchased by the HR department of your employer. You find that when creating a new user account in the web UI, you can delete data from the database by entering Open colon or uh, what is that? Single parenthesis. What is that? Semicolon. No, before that, I oh, can't think. Quote. 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 Single quote. Single quote. Semicolon. Drop table. Users. Uh, single quote. Into the field for the user account. Okay, this is one of these SQL or XML or. Oh, it's gotta be an XML. Cross SQL cross has to do with database, right? Uh, let's see. Delete data from the database. Yeah. SQL sounds like what you got there. Mm -hmm. Drop database vulnerability. No. Request forgery. No. No. XML. I don't know. SQL. Yeah, it's, it's SQL. SQL. SQL inject. When you deal with the database, I think my understanding is always mm -hmm. SQL, SQL, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are working as a security consultant for a small company. The owner of the company states they were recently targeted by hackers who gained access to their email account. Since then, the attackers have taken control of the company's website and have stated they will only return control of the company after receiving payment. The hosting provider has stated that the web servers are not infected, and no unusual logins have occurred. Despite this, users are reporting that they cannot access the company's website. What kind of attack is this? Mm. I think it's cross-site scripting. Mm, no. Web servers are not infected. Okay, since the attack 
have taken control of the company's website. Yeah. Okay, the hosting provider has stated that web, web servers are not, are not affected. infected. So, it could be cross site scripting. That's session hijacking? No? I don't know. I mean, session hijacking for me is just uh, like a one time quick thing when you grab a user's credentials to go where he was going. DNS hijacking Lightium? might be it. Domain name servers. They, if they got control of the domain name, if they poisoned the domain name servers, they could get control of their website and like direct traffic to another site, I think. But, here's <sighs> the thing. Uh, they cannot access company's website. So that means like DNS hijacking. So they're not pointing them to anywhere, but like uh, not letting place. them in either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Could be man in the middle, but that makes more sense. Yeah. Good. Tough question. Okay. Charlie. Yeah. So what's the difference between DNS hijacking and DNS spoofing? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, DNS, I, think yeah, I don't think that's like a thing. A, you, spoofing is like, a, no, no, it, there is a thing. Spoofing is like uh, you uh, uh, change the DNS uh, name and point it to somewhere else. To your DNS or wherever our attackers DNS. That's what we had earlier. What, what, hijacking, what, what type of attack yeah. earlier we had DNS attack. Hijack the smack fill back thing or something. So hijacking is like you take over the but here's another thing. If they take over the DNS, then DNS spoofing is the same thing as DNS poisoning. Oh, DNS poisoning. That's what I was talking about. I was about what's the difference between poisoning and hijacking? Like the same web, server, web servers are not infected. So I think DNS hijacking is not happening here. I don't know how to talk you out back. I don't know. I don't think the other three answers are viable. Okay, we'll just leave. We'll just leave it there. My God. Your coworker is out sick due to an illness. In his absence, you have received the results of a vulnerability scan he ordered from an external provider. Unfortunately, your coworker did not give you any information on what type of scam was conducted or what methods were used. The results show that three injection vulnerabilities were identified but are only possible when, att when attempted from an authenticated user account. Based on the information you have, what type of vulnerability scan was most likely completed? Well, Kaiser, Kaiser is telling us it's credentialed. Um, could be intrusive, but yeah. Yeah. It's because it's because of the authentication word, authenticated user account. I, I think if you're able to yep. see, if you're able to tell that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Credential. Mm hmm. Lock and load it. Okay. Hip 
HIPAA. Yeah, don't even read it. It's too easy. HIPAA. Mm -hmm. Finish. Mm -hmm. Create the best. Okay. We only missed 95. one. 95. Woo. I can't believe we missed one. Okay, let's see. Non intrusive. We got that. Replay, we got that. Uh, rope. Okay, that was easy. Oh, they also give the uh, explanation here. Mm -hmm. Just in case if we need to. Okay, back door. <sighs> Good job, Charlie. Okay, yeah. Uh, deny TCP any server, okay. And there's more. If you want to read. Mm -hmm. uh, infrared. That was good. What? Oh. Okay. We do uh, a real. Yeah. Same flood. Logger, good seven. job, Charlie. Yeah, Main in the browser. Okay, that. This one, mm. DNS amplification. Okay, mm. let's read it. Mm. That's, that's the one that's not explaining. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. If you make an if you make an account, uh, let's see. wait. If you make an account, this is. Oh, okay. This, here. Um, this will leave. This yeah. Will leave. Changing the registration. Yep. You, you Gotta hack the register to do that. Like, that like, I have, I have that, like, like, like yeah. looks, instead of just Credentials, yeah. okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that was the key point. We got it, okay. Yeah. All right. So, what's next? You tell me. You want to do the other one or the same one? Yeah, I don't want to save anything. <laughs> what do you mean the other one or the same one? I mean, the uh, exam nice. campus or the crucial exams. Oh, That's we can do these. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. We can do these. We can keep going. Okay. You gonna do one of these? Sure. Acronyms. Oh man, those are flashcards. Those are they're flashcards. Those are flashcards. Those are oh, not pra okay. practice oh, yeah. tests. Oh. Local area network. And we can do them all the same. Wide area network. Wide area network. Wireless access. Wireless, wireless access, access point. point. Wireless look, uh, yeah. Wireless uh, equivalent protection. Okay. Wire, wireless perfect, wireless protected, protected access. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Advanced encryption standard. Annual uh, loss expectancy. Annual loss. Address resolution protocol. 
uh, agreement, uh, acceptable use procedure or policy. Use policy. Policy. Certificate yeah. authority. Certificate authority. Denial of service. Dos. Distributed denial. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't. Some something digest? encryption. Is encryption. it digest encryption? Or yeah, that's probably it. DMZ. Okay. And it's DMZ, Korea. Extensible authentication protocol. Host hints. And uh, host and and host. host. Uh -huh. Host. Okay. Protect. Uh, protect. Protected. I think of those Preventive. as uh, host Preventive, based. Uh, yeah. Host, host based. based. Intrusion yeah. protection protection system. Yeah, intrusion protection system. HVAC. It's a uh, uh, thing. Yeah, network. Know that. <laughs> network. That's network IPS. Yeah. Network. NIS, mm -hmm. network. That's a uh, uh, that's a ping. Um, I can't remember. Internet control message protocol or something. Yeah. IPsec. IPs. Uh -huh. L2TP, I don't remember what that stands for. Tunneling protocol, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for that's used for VPN. Um, yeah. VPN, yeah. Mac address. Mac mm -hmm. address. There are like three kinds of Macs. So, yeah. Media access. MD5 is hashing. Shot is hashing. Shot. Yeah. What does Shot stand for though? I don't know. I don't know. Something secure hashing out of them, I think. I think. Yeah. NAC is a network, network access control. Network oh. access control. Mm -hmm. Network access control. Transmission. Translation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Port. This is kind of, uh, yeah. Pretty good oh. policy. Here, these two, <laughs> NAT and PAD, they kind of go together. Like, if there's a question about PAD, like, uh, that's. Kind of similar to that, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Bye. Personal identification. Personal identification, yeah. Personally identifiable information. Mm -hmm. Public, public key. Infrastructure. Public key. Public key infrastructure. infrastructure. Yeah. Public key infrastructure, yeah. Infrastructure. Worship. Virtual local access network. Trusted platform module. Trusted platform module. I don't know. Landman. Landman. <laughs> Landman. Local area local, network manual. Local area network, metropoli metropolitan area network. Metropolitan. <laughs> uh, media access control. I don't know. Media access control. I don't know. He said there is three max. Mandatory Mandat access control. Mandatory. mandatory. Yeah. Yeah, mandatory access control. That's for... What's RB? Our, our, I think that's our... mandatory because. I know what our back is. Yep. Access control. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? Role-based access control. Role-based access control. Discretionary access control. Mm -hmm. DAC. Yay. Good job. Oh, OK. Yes, Hannah, that was right. Yes, Hannah. You might have gotten it wrong. Yes, Hannah. Oh, same model. Oh, same model. Which layer is it? That a link layer? Uh, I don't know, too. Yeah. I suck at these. That the link is to think. Don't look it up now. It's gonna give it all away. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. IP addressing. Okay. That's, That's gotta be layer three. The. Three. Yeah. What is the, that layer you. called? Network layer. Network layer. Yeah. The PDU of layer four. What does PDU mean? Layer for a session? No, it's uh, transport, I think. I think five session, session's five. Oh, session's uh, five? Okay. okay. What's the PDU? Does anybody know? No. Uh, I don't know. Let's finish it and then we'll look it up. Yeah, we're going to do this if we have time. 
Hold on, let's find let's out. Let's see what SPDU means. Oh, it's the type of data that's sent. Mm -hmm. Layer two is frame, layer three is packet. Layer four is segment or data data datagram. Yeah, datagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bit frame packet datagram. Seven. Bit frame packet datagram. Eight, Eight if you count there. people. Seven. <laughs> Which layer is it? Either no, connection no, less or connection. I put the brain. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Take it easy. I think uh, these are Kaiser's kids. Are those Kaiser's kids? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here's those, my. Those are your little rugrats? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing some kind of uh, school. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, something. Fun thing. So connection list or connection oriented. I have no idea. Copy and paste, Kaiser. <laughs> Transport. You just turned it over. That was oh. cool. Oh, okay. You turned the card over. How'd you do that? Oh. You click on the button. Oh, yeah. I clicked it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. that. Yeah. Pack. Pack it. Okay, that's segment. good. I thought I thought two was frame, not segment. And then segment is four. Okay, let's go. Seg back. Frame is two. Let's start. Home. Yeah, but segment is four. Okay. 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 Data link is layer two. Mm -hmm. IP addressing is three. Layer four is. Segment. segment okay packet three is packet seven we got that connection less transport connection four oriented. there's mm -hmm. transport yeah okay two two right That's data okay. link yeah data link Physical addressing. Four and one five. And I mean, three and four. Oh, I'd say one and two. Two and two. Two and three. Two and three. Data link and network. Mm -hmm. Three. Seven. Or three. <laughs> network. I no, know. No. I, I know. Uh, uh, the router. At what layer? Router, router is three, right? Yeah. No, I was talking about the other one, the uh, the HDPC. Oh, the, the, uh, how the how, what's the name of this it? TCP model? Huh? TCP model? No, no, no. TCP some, model? No. What's the, what, how do we call the one that gives IP addresses? DHCP? DHCP. DHCP. Oh, yeah. DHCP is layer seven. Okay. One physical one. layer. One. Mm, two. Two. Data, data link. Frame. Data link. Data link. Why they don't say like a one, two data link or something like that? Mm. Known as what? Six. Mm. So application, uh, there is session, there is uh, transport. I don't know, there's one in the middle of those. Yeah. I can't remember what it is. Presentation is number seven, right? Presentation. Oh, good call, Sri John. Uh, application is six. Uh, application is seven. No, application, application seven. Is seven. Presentation, Presentation is six. Is yeah. good, good job. Good job, good good job, job Sri John. This is the job. only thing I know. Uh, you know. No. You know more than you think you know. <laughs> 
I was telling Charlie earlier, uh, like, uh, you know, more than you pretend. No. <laughs> okay. But you know what? Um, uh, I think like um, uh, Lina was saying, like, you know, join a group, right? So I did join a group over here. And that is really helping me because I have not still got a book yet, but like um, I'm also practicing some questions uh, in the house. So like it will take me some time to practice, you know, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretty sure the book, you'll be surprised how quick you can go through it. Yeah. I mean, book reading is something that I don't have to talk, right? So as long as, long as I don't talk, I think I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, physical layer. Uh, physical layer. I don't know. What does that resonate? Is server? that one or two? Two, right? Physical, Which device? Physical layer okay. One. Uh, it's it's uh, a layer, layer one. No. Uh, one or two? Hub. Oh. Hub. Which device operates on physical? Can't help yourself, can you, Kaiser? <laughs> hmm. What protocol operates on the transport layer of the OSI model? Uh, what the call? DNS. DNS. You okay? You wanna eat? TCP. 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 Mm. <sighs> Which device? That's a switch. Router. Router. Uh, ah. I was gonna say that. Yeah. HTTP operates on what layer of the OSI model? Seven. Is that op application? Yeah. Application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, they got one right. Mm. On the session layer, which protocol on the session layer? That is HTTPS. Encryption. So SSL. SSL. Yeah. yeah she I was, was close. close. <laughs> Encryption, SSL, yeah. Yeah, you're on the right track. All Bless right. you, Hannah. Bless you, Hannah. <laughs> Bless, Bless your little heart, Yeah, Hannah. That would, that's good, too. Thank I'm you, gonna... Charlie. See how no, nice here. you this are. One. <laughs> this one. Open registry editor. Regist that's a com command line, though. Reg edit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Display IP configuration. I have I, IP, IP config. config. IP config. It's Windows Computer command line. Host name. Who I am. <laughs> Windows command line. Yeah. Windows command line. Host name. Is that NS lookup? NS lookup gives you that. Yep. I don't know. Host name. Oh. <laughs> okay. Prompt to new directory. CD? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Change directory. Mm -hmm. In a current directory. Display LS. files and folders in current directory. No, LS. DIR. DIR? Yeah, for Windows Here. line, Windows Here, yeah. based. We are using Windows, so remove delete directory. I'm is for delete DEL. DEL delete. Yeah, DEL. <coughs> Del DEL. DEL. Del DEL. DIR. RM. Ah. RM directory. Okay. View edit folder. Come on. Oh, no, this... no, that's uh, Linux. Yeah. I don't know any Windows command line. Edit files. Uh... I think. It's view or edit, file or folder permissions. So it's view or edit permissions for the MK file. MKDR. It's the permissions like 
Oh, kind of mission. No, no, that's Make Directory. Uh, it is. Uh, folders, folder permission, ATTR. We don't know this one. At, yeah, I'll never have. Um, is this that, even on the uh, test? Windows command line? Yeah, I guess it is. Shouldn't be. I would never. We never saw that before. Shut down or restart, like you say. Reboot. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Or I think you can say reboot also, but maybe re reboot is for Linux. Uh, copy file, um, I think copy, C-O-P-Y or C-P. Copy, copy. yeah. Uh, I don't know about this one. Date. Date, oh, cool. Delete files. RM. RM file name or R delete R file name? Delete. 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 Computer properties and configuration details. <sighs> System info. Ooh, that's good. Let me try that. I've never seen these in my life. What is the system info? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at this. I'm doing it on my own local area network media wireless. Okay. Oh, it gives tons of information. Mm -hmm. OS version. Uh, okay. You know, OS there is owner. even a personal area network, PAN, Pan. which is the it's a Bluetooth device. Oh, these are like a hot fixes, like all the patches you got, page files. Oh. Okay. Info. Running processes. Uh, I think we don't know that one either. Task list. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, okay. So running process. Stops a running process. I think like these are DOS uh, error. Task kill. Task kill. What these are command do? line only. What, what does it do? Task, task kill. It, uh, stops mm -hmm. or running process are uh, same thing like uh, mm -hmm. when you go on uh, task manager. Yeah, yeah. You can do pretty much like you can kill any process here. Process here. Yeah. Displays are added the time. Did we do this one time? That was date. Windows environment variables. What the hell is that? Set. Okay. Don't know. ENS lookup. You know? ENS lookup? Uh, uh, the ENS lookup is a uh, NS. NS lookup. NS. Yep. Anas. Anas look up. He said it earlier. Yeah. Check and repair errors on a Windows volume drive. Check disk. Okay. Defrag. Defrag. Wow, that was tough. Okay, you wanna do? Another test or? Well, I want to do the other one, TCP, UDP. Okay, let's do it. Port for NetWise. 137, 139. TCP, UDP. N38. 138. 
Yeah, I've known as common ports, random ports. I don't know. Registered ports. Oh, okay. Uh, S and MP is that twenty five? No, that's 20, SMTP. Twenty three. Oh, okay. Um, SNMP is shit if I know. 43. I don't know. 160, UDP, 161. UDP, UDP, what? Mm. CFTP. Mm. That's 23, 22? No. 24, 45, I think. 69. 69, UDP. 69. Oh, TFTP is used for like small uh, packets or small files. The other day I was reading, so trivial file transfer protocol. Yeah. Yeah. 21, 20, 21. 21. 20, 20, 21, 21, yeah. 20, TCP, 2021. SMTP, that's 25. No, that's mm -hmm. SM. Is that 25? Mm-hmm. The CP25. 80. 80. We know that. 23. 10 net. 23. TCP23. 443. 53. 53. UDP53. I don't know. Mm. UDP sixty-seven for DS. UDP sixty-seven. Twenty-two. Is it twenty-two? Yep. All SSHs. Mm -hmm. TCP yep. twenty-two. Mm-hmm. One ten. Forty. One ten. Common ports. Are known. Well known. well known ports. Well known ports. I map. Is That's that one forty three? I think. No. Yep, one forty three. Yeah, you're good. right. Good job. Thirty three eighty nine. Remote the Scarborough's. Is it four four five or something? No, it's eighty eight. Eighty eight. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. That was fun. I didn't know a lot of those. That's scary. So we got this one. This oh, one. Do do pro do you do the protocols? We did that, right? Yeah. No. Do we? I don't think we did. Did we? Click it. And let's see. Oh, we did acronym OSI model. Okay. Trivial, Trivial file, file, file transfer. Port 60. Oh, that's cool. Secure shell. Secure shell. 22. 22. Port 22. And protocol. Okay, we have it's a bot. Tell uh, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's 23. And, and, and encrypted. Unencrypted. Unencrypted. Uh, uh, Telnet is Telnet. Yeah, 23. Simple message transfer protocol. 25. Mail transfer protocol. Simple Damn. mail transfer. Okay. Dakax. 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 Oh, uh, uh, I can't tell you what access, that is. Access controller, access, access control server or system. Radius is even harder. I don't know. What's terminal uh, access control? Terminal access, access control. control system. Access control, Plus access control system. 449. Dak access 49. Dak access 49. 
<laughs> domain name domain server. name system Ser 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 server server or service yeah. Server system, Sorry, server system. Hypertext transfer protocol, port 80. 80. Hypertext Secure transfer protocol. Secure and 443. Secure. Secure socket layer. Security layer. SSL. SSL. DSLs. Why they call it SSL even though they use it uh, TLS there? They still use TLS. Okay. They still use SSL too. They're interchangeable sometimes. Kerberos. Kerberos. 88. UDP 88. That's all we get. Port 88. It's just a port. Yep. Top 3. B3 is mail. Post Office oh. Protocol version 3. Port 110, bruh. I don't know what that means. Messaging authentication protocol. Internet, Internet message. message access protocol. Port 143. Mm -hmm. Simple network management protocol. Port, fuck if I know, 161. 161. 161. Remote desktop. Remote desk. Three three eight nine. IP I, secured. I, uh, yeah, I can see it. That's the one that has those. Order. Those protocols that have their own protocol numbers. Internet protocol security. Tunneling protocol that encrypts Tunneling IP. That encrypts IP. <coughs> tunnel. Only encrypts the. Oh, they Entire the whole thing. Entire package. Transport only encrypts part of it. Yeah, data. only transport more encrypts data. Okay. P P P. Um, I can't remember what that is. Personal protected protocol. Point to point. Point to point. <laughs> there are two connections between two network devices. Okay. Uh, translation, network address translation. Let's work. Two different networks, typically between a private and public. Okay. We are going to see this one, public address or oh, address know. translation, what? AKA net overload. One to many net translations use layer four ports to organize connection. Okay. Transport layer secure. Four four three. I has your answer, Pfizer. Don't you don't listen to that. It's used all over the freaking place. Yeah, I know. That's why I just skipped that. FTP file transfer, file transfer protocol secure. over SSL, right? Yeah. Yeah. Over SSL. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. SF okay here we'll see SFTP that's, that is on SSH that's the one that's on uh it's either on SSH or SSH it's, it's yeah. on the same yeah. like protocol First it's S is, mm -hmm. okay it might so be on the same, difference same port IP version 4 IP, IP version 6 6 okay, hold on internet protocol version 6, 28 and the other one 64 or 32 32 32 that it does it. All right. Those are good. Did we do this one? We did acronyms, yeah. Uh, IP addressing? What is that? Oh, no. That's just oh, overloading wow. our brain. I hope they're not long. Oh, you want to do okay? Let's do this. Put the timer on. Put the L. Oh, okay. You don't have to. Hold on. We can do that. Should we do it on H1 does it on his own computer and then we just, you know, compare results? 
No, no. I mean, we can do that. I think we own. can do it like within time. We yeah. have 22 minutes. We are. Right. A junior That's security professional, professional on your team trying is trying to export a public certificate and share it with a co colleague outside of the IP department. They ask you if they should use a CER or PFX format. What format should they use? <laughs> Oh, what a hard question. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what is that. Export a public certificate. I think it's CER. Yeah. I think it's probably... It might be both. What's the PFX? Um, I don't know. It's Maybe it's of... public. One is public. One is... No, no. Both are... Uh, CER is for certificate. And... Generally, that's what that's the one that's used. So let's stay with that. For network security, B, what does a VLAN offer for network security? B. Logically separates network segments. Okay. What term so defines, defines an operating system that? Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Uh, defines an operating okay, system. Okay, what term defines an operating system? <laughs> you got it. Go, Kaiser. Okay, that have been that has been def uh, verified as having mm -hmm. a sufficient level of security based on the common criteria for information technology security evaluation. What term defines an operating system? Trusted That's operating very... system, B baby. B Ooh. Holistic approach. Uh, what term refers to a holistic approach to IT security, including diversification of vendors, controls, uh, and user training? So isn't it defense in depth? Yeah, it seems like it would be. What's holistic AI? And from uh information uh Intel intelligence artificial yeah intelligence uh, no that, it's I'm intel kidding, uh, I'm artificial kidding. artificial yeah, the other one is AI. AI, yeah yeah <laughs> that's what i was thinking about i was trying to further confuse you and it worked yeah. i think it's don't DID. confuse an already confused person D? no, I'll, no I'll i think it's, it's a defense and depth Defense in depth, baby. Oh my God. You work as a freelance security consultant. You are now working for a large government and have been contracted to, to create a standalone system that should attract malicious activity. The system should mimic an existing productive system, but with fake... Just put honey in that. I can yes, see you honey, hovering I was about to say Stop hovering me. over it, dude. You're yes, killing dude. me. <laughs> Read this one then, Dick. <laughs> you, have, you have a new enterprise as a member of the IT security team. Why do they have to say that? During onboarding, <laughs> you receive two computers, one with access to high confidentiality, confidential system, and one with access to less critical data and the internet. You cannot send data or documents from one network to other and have to manage separate credentials for each. What concept best defines this approach? Okay. Hmm. Or, or physical desegmentation. Physical desegmentation? That doesn't make any sense. No. No. If you have to physically, I think it's our gap. Yeah, you cannot send. Data or documents from one network to the other. Yeah, air gapped. One of they're, them is air gapped. The other one is just. Well, normal. they're they're air gapped from each other though. That's the point. Yeah. Good job, Charlie. Right. Yes. It's not a VPN. I don't think so. No, it's not, it's not gonna... is, you have to have connection between them to, in order to use VPN. VPN. 3Ds, 3Ds perform one encryption data, 48, right? All right, if you can explain that, why you got 48, I'll, I'll say yes. 
I'll give you a uh, hint. Uh, uh, it's got to be three groupings because it's three DS. Yeah. So yeah, it's three it's 16, groupings. Yeah, 16, 16, 16. Yeah. That, that kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Why would that be, though? Wouldn't it be? You know, 24 wasn't an option, so it couldn't be 888. Frankly, it's it's the only one that's divisible by three. <laughs> mhm. Mm your employer has asked your team to define and implement a new network area that will be accessible to authorized third-party companies through a dedicated WAN connection. A critical requirement is that access to this new network area should not also allow network access to the company's internal network and systems. What type of network best defines this setup? Extranet. Extranet? They, they still, they, yeah, they still do extranet yep. and internet. Not, not guest Wi-Fi? No. Okay. No. No, extranet. I thought extranet was when I got out of the shower and I had my hairnet in and it wasn't enough because I had really long hair, so I needed an extra hairnet. I thought that's what extranet was. I hope you're joking. Okay. <laughs> When you got hair like me, you need an extra hairnet, Mahmoud. Yeah, well, you got a daughter, so you're winning. <laughs> James is sending an, an email to Bob. To ensure confidentiality, James needs to send the email in an encrypted format using PKI. What will James use to encrypt the mail so Bob can decrypt it? Bob, All right. Bob the key. Bob's. No, Bob's. Uh, Bob's. Public. Bob's public. Yeah. I think we finally understand PKI. Mm -hmm. Or at least the three. Yep. Now here, one thing real quick. Can you go back real quick? Um, there is one thing. See, this, this is the email use case for PKI. But there are other use cases in which it is not initiated, like the email with the uh, Bob's public key. Like there's sometimes I can't remember exactly what the use cases are, but there are other times like okay. that's, where it's, it starts yeah, off. I with know the, that's like a digital yeah. digital signatures. There's an example. Yep. There's an example. No. Yep. Yeah. So like in that case, like it has to be like James private. Yep. And so, uh, James public. Yep. So there just remember there's different okay, use no. cases. Oh. I'm just like so geeked out on my on my security plus. I just have Professor Messer on in the background on my TV. I just walked in and there he is. He's just talking. Professor Messer all day Mr. long. Mr. Best applies to the following statement. Plain text data is converted to an unreadable format that can be converted back into its own oh. format. Damn, I just broke the fridge. Patching? Are we good with that? Yeah. Patching? We can hashing. Hashing? Hashing. Hashing. Hashishing. Hashish. Yeah, that's when I get stoned. Patching is when I put a put a patch over my eye. I do them all. Uh, you know hashish? Yeah, man. I've smoked my fair share. <laughs> um. Your employer has always been very security conscious and to date does not use a company owned mobile or wireless device like laptops and smartphones. A new project aims to evaluate options on the market for security implementing laptops within the company. One requirement is that all data stored on the laptop's drive must be encrypted. Which type of drive could fulfill this requirement? SED. What's SED stand for? Secure encrypted device. And why are we using it? Now I'm just asking stuff. <laughs> that, that's what it stands for? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and that's the correct. Oh, here we go again, Kaiser. What type of public certificate can be used what with multiple of... subdomains? Is that the wildcard? Is wild that the multipurpose? Is that the domain validated? Or is that okay. the self-line? We had this one the other day. Subdomains is wildcard. Yeah. Subdomains is wildcard. And what's multiple domains? And the other one is like multiple domains like you use. Uh, no. 
there's something else you use for multiple yeah. domains. It's not wildcard. It's not any of those yet. All right. Yeah. Uh, I know this one. What is the name of the process used to sign? Code signing. Digitally sign executables. Yeah. Code signing. Yep. Yeah. That's that's when you put your sign your digital signature on the code so someone gets it and can authenticate that it is actually your code. There's so many uses for authentication. Executable. Oh. Check this out. Look at that. You're telling me that that is a protocol too? There, everything's a protocol. Certificate. Uh. No, no, not this one. Sorry. Isn't it the first one? Yeah, it's OSCP. Yeah. But but you can also check with the certificate authority. Or what's that? What's mm -hmm. that acronym in D? Certificate signing request. Signing request, yeah. That's when you request. A What's OCP send? O O O C S P. Online uh, certificate. Uh, signing protocol something. or something. Signing, signing protocol. Yeah. It's not signing something else. Secure. Yeah. Google it. Which is a symmetric key? Algorithm. Mm, hang on, don't don't click anything. Um, no, I'm I'm not sure about which any one is of these. symmetric and asymmetric. Yeah. PGP. I seem to remember that as asymmetric. DSA. I don't even remember. DES is symmetric as far as I remember. RSA is asymmetric as far as I remember. No, so, DES is symmetric. One? Yeah, that's what I said. DES is symmetric. That's the only symmetric one there. That's what we did. That's why we select the ES. Good. Yep. Okay. Mm. You are responsible for network security within your employer's network architecture team. Your team is implementing a new network that can allow unauthenticated Wi-Fi users access to the Internet with a lot, without a lack Without allowing them access to any of the internal systems. What type of Wi-Fi network is this? Gas, I'd say. Sounds like the other one we just said we, we answered extranet on. Yeah. But this is Wi-Fi, so Okay, so it's guest. Oh, hi kitty. Yeah, so if this was like if this was not a Wi Fi then we would say like DMC. A new company policy requires hardware encryption for certain highly confidential systems. These existing systems do not already have a hardware component that can provide this functionality. What is the easiest way to implement this new policy? So it's either B okay. or D. All right, here's the to, thing. There's one that's there's one that's a chip on on the actual Toolbox. stuff, and there's one that's like a thing you can plug in and plug out. Trusted platform module is the one you can plug in and plug out. Okay. I think. No, other way around. Trusted platform module is like uh, on the chip. On the motherboard, hardware is like a extra key. Yeah, it's an external uh, device. Can plug into yeah. your laptop. Yeah, yeah, external Trusted, device. Trusted. Yeah, keep the PPM is within the, your your computer. That's what all your uh, passwords are stored and all that. Which of the following is used in PKI for key agreement? A handshake, HMA. Uh, hash space. Um, Message authentication code. Yeah. Counter mode. Ephemeral Diffie Hellman. Elliptical curve Diffie Hellman. Diffie Hellman. Yeah. Key agreement. PKI is. Uh... 
public key. I want to say that's what RSA. HMAC. RSA. For me, I think. I don't know. I think it's, it's Defty Hellman. That's when you fall public key and private key. Jana. Mm. Shri Jana. Hey, do you have anything to say? Um, I know it's a handshake. PKI is a handshake, right? And I only know RSA, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, Charlie says RSA. You say Charlie. RSA, I don't say anything. Mahmoud, I, mean, I can, I can see how it could be elliptical curve, Diffie Hellman, but... It could be electro. It's elliptical curve, Diffie Hellman. I don't know. This is a tough one. Because it, you use the ECDH between two elliptical curve. I think you use it between two uh, between A and B between senders. Send. I don't know. I mean, it's implying that whatever we're, whatever whatever we select is a part of all PKI for key agreement. I, I like if you hem in, but I don't like that elliptical curve part of it. But we're good with that. Yeah, it seems to make yeah. sense. What type of certificate can be used for a list of explicitly given domains, IP addresses, or subdomains? <sighs> is that the same one as before? Is that wildcard again? Subdomains? Well, I would say that. Yeah. Subdomains? What was SAN? What SAN stand for? I don't know. I don't know, but like, I think that might be. It. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw this one before, but. What certificates can be used for a list of explicitly given domains? Uh -huh. Domains. Uh -huh. Self sign. Uh, no. I think it's wildcard. I'll go with wildcard. I don't know what's S A N, so. Okay, let's go. Hardware component capable of securing data. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're good. Oh, we have four minutes mm -hmm. left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's check Great it. Great job. Neat. 100%. Does that mean? <laughs> <clears throat> Got one 95. Wrong. Again, one wrong. Mm. It's probably the one. We got, uh, probably the one. Okay. See yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Either or. Is it? It does it say either or? No. Oh. Did it? Yeah, use this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We had PFX. Dot PFX called a PKCS12 archive because it also includes the private key, which should never be shared. Okay. Oh. See here, this yeah, one. That's a really good piece of. That's why we don't use. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And here another one. PKSC defines a self. PKC two. X five or nine. Who yeah. uses who uses X five hundred, Charlie? Authentication. Kerberos. 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 Of trusted operating system defense app. Good job, honey nets air cap. Okay. okay, oh, here this one is correct. Mm -hmm. Triple dash, yeah, three times 16. Mm -hmm. Good logic, Charlie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm, I see that. Extra nets. Bob's public key, good job. Hashing. Said, Mahmoud, good job. Uh, what we was that? This let one, see, good. Let's see what, which one is SED. About what? Oh, self-encrypting mm -hmm. drive. Yeah. Kaiser, can you scroll a little bit up? Oh, okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. White card. Code signing. Oh, that's the, fir the first one is white card. Maybe the second one is the SAM. Yeah. Okay. Online certificate status protocol. Yeah. That's what I was missing. And it uses X509. Ooh. Status test. Yeah. Yes, that's good job. Uh, guest. Hardware security module, okay. Oh, Dippy one is good. Yeah. Wildcard is wrong. Apple, I was thinking yeah. about sand, but I wasn't sure. Subject alternative name. But subject certificate, our public certificate with, with the list of alternative domains, subdomain. I don't see that at all. Mm-hmm. I got to start reading the uh, the book. I haven't I haven't read anything from the book. Yeah. I've read the book almost three times. Yeah, I think that will reinforce my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm going like uh my highlighted points, third uh, third time now. First one, I read like uh, the whole thing. Then second, uh, first one was like in parts, like uh, initially when I started the course, I read a little bit like few chapters, then um, kept reading like here and there. So I was forgetting what I read before. So second What's time I read like- it? First, like read, Thoroughly, like whatever you know, don't know, like uh, if you're using online, uh, what I was doing, like highlighting the main uh, points. Like That's here. a big book, now. it's gonna take me like two months to finish it. Here, I'm here, this reader. is what I was doing. See here, uh, I highlighted them before. Yeah, he can. But Charlie. SDN software defined networks. Mm -hmm. You want me to read so, it to you? I said, I said you read it in two days. Yeah, I did. So this is what I did. So that second time when I'm reading, read I'll... It. Uh, no. is that your highlights? Yeah, that's yeah, my highlights. Is it better to read it from the book or to? Uh... I, I think, think it's good it to like, get away uh... from the. I think it's good to get away from the screen. Oh yeah. I do. I do. I, I, I think have the book. A, I think it's you nice know, to get away from the screen and not read it off the screen for once. You know, whenever whenever I try to use book, I feel sleepy. I don't know why. <laughs> when I stay on screen and uh, I'm just awake, I can stay up like all night. So, yeah. All right, we got time I to do one more. <laughs> okay, what's, what's next? That? What's up, Sujana? I prefer the books too. Yeah. Because like, you know, uh, I think um, I was, um, uh, if I spend like 10 hours or 11 hours in front of the computer, I cannot sleep in the night, you know, so a book is a good thing for me. At least I can sleep better. I, I think it's nice to break, take a break from the screen and read the so, yeah. so, so, so do you think the, the, the book encompasses everything? No. Charlie, you read it three times? <laughs> I mean, no, it doesn't have everything. It doesn't. Um, nope. At least if we're going to go by what these questions we've been doing are, are throwing at us, there's definitely some things that I looked up, like Poodle Attack, for instance. Poodle attack's not in that book. It is. It's but very not. little. I looked. It is there. I uh, searched. See, I searched. I saw for like, it. Okay, here. The other day I was looking for it. Uh, I searched for it. I couldn't find it. -E. 
Maybe it just wasn't in the in the appendix. Could be. I think this is the service. This is the service that we can use in online because um, if you want to find something quick, you can just do do the find, you know, and then mm -hmm. you can find stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though eyes hurt, but yeah. Oh, there it is. Mm. Padding Oracle on downgraded legacy encryption attacks. Is that the only one? Or is there another one? Could be more. It's in the book. That's good to know. All right, well, I, uh, the point more? is, it, it has almost everything, if not everything. And then, you know, may, you may not remember everything, too, you know? Well, I don't, you yeah. know, as long as you understand how stuff works, you're going to be able so to So do you, there. like, stuff like that you already know, you don't want to wait, you don't waste time in them, right? Like heads and nids and... No, I mean, you try not to, except you got to make sure you know this stuff, like... You know, you got to know that heuristic is the same as anomaly based and not like shit like that. Just like you got to know it through and through. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, I wouldn't. On the one hand, you got to go through it all once. On the other, on the, on the other hand, that's the, all you got to go through it once. I mean, once you get through it just the one time, I, I recommend just doing it the one time. And then you just focus on the areas where you don't know. And then you can use a digital format and go uh, control F and then, you know, go. Yeah. To yeah. I mean, what I do is I end up highlighting. I, I, I'm not the same. I highlight what I don't know. So like if you do that, you end up with a bunch of highlights on stuff you don't know. And then you just look them up one by one. Like certificate formats was one of my ones today. I had to look up and I just still don't understand, it, obviously. So I'm going to have to look it up like five different times, but. PKI and certificate. Uh, Sherjana, I just shared the this page so that you can use it. You so, know what? I love PK the highlighting stuff. Like uh, that really, really helps me concentrate. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, on my even just... when I was reading the book, I would like use highlighter and uh, highlight the main uh, stuff so that yeah. like I can go back and see. You know what? Okay. Um, so you want to do one more? Yeah. In the Python, like, I mean, I uh, didn't ahead. What was much it? from the book. So I look at the YouTube videos. They were very helpful. Like, mm -hmm. uh, Python stuff in YouTube is very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And very good, excellent explanation, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm Another one? Okay. Can I do one? One more? Yeah, let's do it. Timer? Yeah. Timer. Oh, you want to use uh, the other one, uh, exam campus, compass. Whatever. We're right. We're here now. Okay, just do this one. Oh, my God. DLP. DLP just because <laughs> it is. <laughs> let's see. I bet it is. You are a network security technician at a mid-sized company. Your employer is planning for uh, significant growth, and the CIO has tasked you with implementing a system to consolidate. That's them. Consolidate all critic ne critical network device logs. That's them. Yeah. Same. <sighs> Your employer uses third-party service provider to store files like Word documents and presentations. These files can be accessed and collaborated on by other employees through website. There are many companies that use this same Cloud service. Services. But... Yeah, I think so. Hybrid? Oh. No, cloud. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Your data is controlled using various methods to ensure users can only access their own company's mm -hmm. files, companies' files. Good. I don't know. It Charlie? Might be, it might be hybrid. I don't know. No, it's not hybrid. Like, uh, 
hybrid is when they use Firefox some of the cloud service. and some of their, home, uh, some of their own servers. Mm -hmm. I think this is cloud, right? Yeah, cloud, yeah. yeah. All right. Good. Hit it, Charlie. Same service, yeah. That's fine. What type of needs commonly uses artificial intelligence and data mining to identify malicious network traffic? Signature. Mm. I would say it's malicious network traffic. I think it's anomaly. Um. Hmm. I think it's signature. It's an anomaly means heuristic, which is the one that uses AI. Okay, if it's that, then it, it is C. I'm pretty sure. Okay. We'll find out. Well, earlier they had it. It was this. It, it was a typo. Then it's supposed to be say heuristic AI. It said heuristic IA. I think there yeah. was a there was a red herring, wasn't it? Earlier, yeah. yeah. Distractor, yeah. yeah. Okay, distractor. A string of text is converted to a numeric value that uniquely identified the original text, which only the numeric numeric value it is impossible to reproduce to the original text value which term correctly it identifies this numeric value it's a hash mm -hmm. when you cannot go back that means it's that mm -hmm. hash yep yep your employer's <laughs> security policies state that all extremely externally facing servers should only be accessible via ports that are absolutely required. Generally, your company ha only has web servers that are accessible from outside the company's network. A recent security review showed that it was possible to ping several of these web servers. What protocol should be disabled using a firewall to ensure that pings do not successfully contact the servers? RCMP. Why is that good? Because that's a that's what a ping is. It's an ICMP. Ping packets. You want to stop. You want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You want to stop that. Your employer has several thousand internal users, all who need to access the internet on a daily basis to complete their work. What technology should be used to make the mask? The internal internal IP address of these users and low access to uh, to the uh, low access to the internet through shared public IP NAT. Yep. Good. Yes. Oh, Charlie, that's one. I don't, I don't want to read this one. Long one. <laughs> you are a network engineer for a mid-sized consulting company. Your employer is currently in the role of a systems integrator for a transformation product uh, project at a retail company. You have been tasked with configuring a new network switch. Upon accessing the switch via SSH, you receive a message stating only authorized users from Acme Enterprise and authorized third-party partners are permitted. You are not required to acknowledge or accept this warning in any way. What type of control best classifies this type of message? Preventive? Preventative. Mm. Or deterrent? Mm. Does it prevent or does it just tell, like, you're not required to acknowledge or accept this warning. Okay, that's a deterrent, yeah. It's not preventing. It's just deterring. Are this, is that a correct spelling? Preventative, yeah. Preventative. Uh, I don't know. Prevent, pre V E N T, E N T. Yeah. Preventative. Doesn't, Prevent. sound, doesn't look right. Okay. Yeah, just mm -hmm. move on. 
disabled SSID access right now. When configuring a wireless <laughs> yeah. access point, what configuration change would hide the name of the wireless network, the user right? Who wants? Bang. Yeah. Some... Uh, which type of which are the which following? Of the following. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Is the most costly form of disaster recovery options full, full scale, bro? It's kind of intuitive, Good. isn't it? Yeah. 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 You are in the onboarding process with a new employer. Your new manager has asked you to review and sign a document that outlines how you can use their IT systems and what types of uses are not permitted. What type of policy document is this? Acceptable, acceptable use. use policy. Um, which acronym refers to the amount of time between the failure of the of a device and the device's return to normal functionality? Mean time to between return. Between time. Mean time to return. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, hold on. Cover. before you move. Return. Mean, cover. mean, mean time to return. Mean time to failure. It's recovery. Before yeah. failure. Yeah, mean time between failures. Mean time to recover. I don't, know what, I don't know what C is, and in meantime, to failure is D. Okay. Meantime, to recover is B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which of the following options is a vendor neutral standard for message logging? Hmm, syslog? I'm not sure. I think you're right. I don't think the other ones are, are vendor neutral standards. I think that's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A large chemical company will soon be legally required to offer phone support to customers who contact in the event of a chemical spill or similar, similar issue. A new law requires the company to be available. Don't go ahead, Kaiser. Let me just read it. <laughs> a new law requires the company be available 24-7, 365, or large fines will be levied against the company. You have been contacted contracted to ensure a powder, power outage does not prevent the help desk from being available to callers. You have been given the requirement that all electronic equipment must operate for up to 24 hours without interruption during a power outage. Which of the following options would best meet this requirement? Jeez. Wow. Generator. Yeah, Jesus Christ. What about emergency <laughs> power supply? Or uninterrupted? What about UPS? Online UPS. That's an uninterrupt, like, uninterrupted power online, supply. Uh, that's for a very short time. 24 hours. Like is maybe a short an time. hour. Any, UP, any, any UPS uh, solution is like for an hour to for graceful shutdown. That's it. How about, how about, longer, how like, about uh, emergency power supply? That's just for emergency. So that's an emergency. It's not yeah. like for 24. Like, no, it's very short time. It's not like long time. Generator is used for power. Other, so. Yeah, so, and you can put like a hook up with a gas or put like more uh, diesel in yeah, there. The, yeah, you diesel. Can, Run it for forever. Yeah, you can run forever. You got it. I'm not reading. Oh, you are a member of the security team in the IT infrastructure department at the manufacturer. You, you have received a ticket from the network architecture team who have requested your who have requested your approval of a proposed network change. The change is to replace a network device that allows internal services to make requests to the internet without external systems, being able to determine with what internal server make the original request. What type of system is being changed as a proxy? I think so. <clears throat> it is. Charlie, good? <clears throat> sure. Which of the following options is, fun is a functional functionality or a tool that disallows 
access to wireless network based on the layer two address on the client device, MAC address filtering. Mm -hmm. What is the third step of the incident response process? I think that's uh, eradication. I think it's identification, containment, eradication, eradication, something else, and lessons learned. Recovery. Maybe, re learned. maybe recovery, lessons learned. I think that's it's right. Eradication. containment? It's, I think it's eradication. I think containment's two. Could make contain to the second one. Was the first one, Charlie? I think identification. Identification, yeah. Discover discovery, not discovery, identification, then containment and eradication. Discovery and identification? Discovery is the first one, identification yeah. second first one. You discover something. Oh, it sounds like the same thing to me. That's what I'm thinking. Like you discover something, then you identify that uh, thing. Then you do something about it. I don't know. Then you contain, eradicate. Yeah. I don't know. How many steps are these? Seven? I think it's it, it is it is a uh, five. Nine. I thought it's five. Okay, it's either a containment or eradication. Prep, preparation is one, detection is two, triage is three, containment's four, post incident's five. Is what I'm reading here. Triage and analysis. I don't know what that is. That's not the right fucking code. Mm, let's see. Preparation, detection, containment, post incident, incident. Preparation, detection, containment, post incident. Preparation. Authority is the one. Detection. Yeah, I don't know. Containment. Which of the following options is a valid type of evidence? in a computer forensics investigation that proves innocence. Exculpatory evidence proves your innocence. Exculpatory. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Latin. Okay. But it basically means to It is containment, the third one. Containment? Okay. Yeah. There is six steps here. Preparation, identification, containment, Eradication, recovery, and lesson learned. Okay. I got it from the book. Yeah. Which so, of the following options is valid type of evidence in a computer forensic investigation that mm -hmm. pro proves innocence? Exculp Ex exculpatory. What does that mean? It means it proves your innocence, what? basically. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't Okay. I can't explain it any other way. Give me a synonym, bro. You are a ma English major. Okay. <laughs> it's called your first language. language. Like, no, I mean, there is no synonym for that. Oh, let me Google it. Let me get, let me pull my dear resources. Yeah, you Hold got on. resources, I can bro. do it here. Uh, hold, let me, I don't even know how to spell this. Expo. Expo. Exculpatory. 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 Here, here. Uh, no, no, no. Your expulsion. Synonym. There you go. Anything that clears someone or something of Favorable guilt. Favorable to that. Okay, to here. clear from guilt. Favorable to the defendant. Exculpatory. Exculpate. Meaning freed from blame. Absolve, acquit. There you go. There's exonerate. Your, there's your yeah. damn synonym. Exonerate. There's your synonym, synonym boy. Mm -hmm. Synonym boy. 
Hi, I'm Synonym Boy. Yes. I need to. Uh... Okay, let's go back. You are an IT specialist on a, on a network security team of a large enterprise. You have been tasked to implement a wireless network to be used by employees in the corporate headquarters. Your employer is very security conscious and, and instructed, you, instructed you or instructs you to use the best possible encryption protocol available. What 802 uh, WEEP do? Protocol, that one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to, rec to, to, to record packet data being sent to and from servers running a Linux operating system. After recording the network traffic, you want to view the data in a visualization tool like Wireshark. What command line tool is best suited for this task and map i'd say tcp dump uh, let's okay see. visualize charlie tcp dump is like command line so i, I know don't think it's, that it's, it's saying record you. the traffic and then and then use wireshark oh okay yeah that's tcp dump right sorry it's not and mm -hmm. map trace route yep, or net stat Bingo. You are a penetration tester for a network security consulting company. You currently, you are currently on site at a customer's premises and are doing your first analysis of the customer's network security. You check if they are using Wi-Fi and find that they are using a depreciated protocol with known vulnerabilities. Which of these options is most likely being used? Good old WEP, baby. Have Let's you guys that. have you seen the commercial where the guy looks like he's gonna sell hot dogs and he pulls out wet teddy bears? Nice. Smash that shit. Two ninety fives and a hundred tonight. That's we're getting good. Um, mm -hmm. Hundred. Ooh. Got it. Cloud service. Mm hmm Anomaly dates. Anomaly job, dates. Charlie. Yeah. Hash value. Hash value Kaiser ICMP net current. Yeah. Disable SSID full scale. We got it. SCU AUC AUP MTTR. Good. Yeah. Main time to recovery. MRTR is something we made up. Good job, Charlie. Syslog. <laughs> Which of the following options vendor? Just look. MRTR. Syslog. Vendor neutral standard for logging. Good to know. Oh, generator. There's a lot powerful. of new things today. Yeah. Job Kaiser. No. Every day we learn something new. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And since this is a, like our third different module, I mean, a website we're using, our fourth maybe. Mm -hmm. So We've they're giving us like different uh, way of questions. Yeah. Yeah. Back filtering. That's good. Containment. That's good. Good job, Charlie. I wouldn't have gotten containment right, I don't think. WPA2, TCP ah. dump, or oh, here. TCP dump. Packet analyzer. Oh, no, uh, this is a packet analyzer. Yeah. It's just like Wireshark, except it doesn't do it. It doesn't have a GUI. And wrap. Pretty good. Good job, guys. I'm ready to take it. Is it week. April 1st? April Fool? A week from tonight, yeah. Oh, you taking yeah. it at home? Yep. 
Yep. Charlie, did you select the date time or not yet? I gotta change. I gotta go in there and check on that. I don't know. I had to change my date. That's what I gotta do tomorrow. Let's get that straightened out. Charlie, you know what we're going to do if you pass? You guys are gonna be screwed. We're gonna we're going to, we're going to do a team viewer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, you want me to record my screen? Yeah, record your screen. Oh, there's I mean, a I, website. They I like will to record get, your screen. Oh, you can record your screen a million different ways, but um, what I would do is I get on with you after I take it and tell you what hat, like while it's fresh, what what the hell I saw. If you remember everything. Well, I'm not gonna remember everything, but I'd be able to um at least tell you what the gist of most of it was. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do more, Kaiser? No, I was just looking. You want to do? I don't know. I don't really care at this, at this you point. You want to take a break? You... Yeah. You want to take a break and tomorrow we can... We coming we back can tomorrow? Be... Yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, about the new um, that ethical hacking thing. Have you tried yeah. to uh, install um, a exploit? No, I mean, it's just a Linux module, right? It, no, should, be on, it uh, should be on your I Kelly. I was able to do that. No, it shouldn't. I, wa- I mean, it is kind of, but like, uh, here. I'll show you. You just you install it with a command line, don't you? Or I don't even know if you need to install Here, it. Here, that's Metasploit. And Are you talking about Metasploitable? Okay. You... The Metasploitable? Yeah. Oh, that's a whole different thing. Hmm? The Metasploitable is one of the... Yeah. That's, that's a target. Hey, guys. Good yep. night. Thank you so good much. Good night, Sujana. All right, Sujana. Good night. All right. Good night, buddy. Bye. See you, bud. Yeah, see you on Saturday, guys. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, from our final project, you will get this metasploitable.rar. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you unpack it and yeah. it will give you like these things. Virtual machine, okay? so that's a virtual machine, and yeah. For, yeah, so mm-hmm. install VMDK. It, yeah. And here you will be selecting uh, Linux. This is what I selected. Uh, system, you whatever you select, that's fine. Display, storage. storage. For storage, SATA, you have to select SATA and then select like uh, your uh, virtual disk. And not not the normal, VMDK. not the normal thing, not the normal disk. That's empty. No, not ID. It's not IDE. You have to use SATA. And another thing, what I did was uh, I went here. See here, like in the tools, you have all these. Uh, uh, your virtual machine uh, VDIs. So I brought that Metasploit up here. <clears throat> I don't know, like once you create it, it automatically comes up here. Yeah, here. So like, yeah. So once you can start it. Where did you get Metasploitable, the, the file off the lab document? Uh, it is under the final project lab. Um, How were you able to get to the final project already? You, what did you do? Take that survey already? No, no. You simply go there and get it. I feel kind of badly that I destroyed a lot of my VMs, but I guess I shouldn't worry about it. I had like every goddamn VM okay. you could. <clears throat> final project. Oh yeah. 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 Under final project, you can go there. Uh, where is it? I saw that one before. Uh, 
over here uh, lab and then you will see mm -hmm. these ones extra mm -hmm. lab files meta supply table another thing is i they're not giving a whole lot of um, uh, oh, come on. whole lot of instructions of how to do like these labs before that they were doing it but now not so once you are here, you can see uh, under the contact, like uh, you can use MSF admin, MSF admin to get started. So then it's all com uh, command base, like mm -hmm. CLI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have VM sprawl here. You got a lot of VMs. You haven't deleted any of them. Yeah. No, I deleted like before, but then I was keeping them. I said, okay, no, here. I have Windows, uh, like that's, this is kind of base model. So I can uh, clone from here and then use it. Uh, <coughs> servers, Windows servers, I use two of them as a base. I can clone them whenever I need it. Client, that's a base, I mean, uh, Windows 7. Uh, Linux basic, like I'm always cloning this one. I start from here whenever there's a new, something new comes up. Same thing Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. uh, PFSense, that's the basic one. Then I start from there. Uh, these are like, uh, I don't know why. I that's that's smart what you're doing. Yeah, so whenever, uh, okay, there's... Uh, Linux also. I have Best it. practices. Yeah. So. I do Hana. So this one, yeah, I uh, started a new like this for this class: Linux, ethical hacking. This one, client seven, like Windows seven, Metasploit. We have it. So I need to install Windows ten because this Windows ten. Uh, is like a 20 something like later uh, version. I don't know if our uh, VD, uh, what they call? VDI or whatever? VDI, yeah, VDI is like uh, 1709, the one he was saying. I don't think so, but I have to reinstall, I mean, install fresh and see what version is that. I haven't looked at it yet. Anyway, guys, I'm going to drop okay, I'm off good. here. All right, yeah. guys. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, Thank we'll you. see you tomorrow, buddy. All right. All right, see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. Good yeah. night. Good night tonight. Got a, lot, got a lot of them right tonight. All right. right. Good night. Got most of them right tonight, didn't we, guys? Yeah. Thanks. All right. Cool, bud. Yeah. Yeah. But still, I'm nervous. Are you still nervous? I'm not nervous at all. I, th I feel like I can yeah, get like 84% of my sleep. PKI and um, certificates, those like uh, uh, radius, that area, um, authentication servers, like the, you use like a P, E, Leap, T, something. Mm -hmm. I that, put in some so I'm in reviewing those. like my book again. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to review them. Hopefully, I will nail them down by then. So. Well, I think you're going to do fine. I think we're ready for it. And we have three or four more sessions, yeah. three more sessions or something. And then yeah, I started I started looking at Saturday. I looked at network mm -hmm. security or network plus. It's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. the same concepts. Okay. So it's going uh, to be easy. Charlie, easier. For tomorrow? Yep. I'm going to show you something. Okay, for tomorrow. Maybe we can do this one. Uh, I purchased this course from them, so uh, they have some um, questions. Okay, my learning. Yeah. So my question is like, do you want to go over that one? Like, test question? I mean, they have exam questions. So. Definitely. Uh, you know how I feel about vendor diversification or whatever. We, as many of as we can get. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, this one, I think I paid like just uh, 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 12 or $13. So I said, okay. okay, let me get, it has like how many questions? Cool. That's like a 23, I mean, six tests. Every has 65 questions, it's uh, time-based and gives you like um, your results. So I think okay. we, we can do it together. Okay. All right, and then we can meet All right. sa- See Saturday you tomorrow, if we want. Then. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, then we, have sa- then we have Saturday. Yep. And uh, Sunday is like normal, so. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Later. See you tomorrow then. Bye.